Hey, first grade, let's keep reading about spring flowers. Here are the words that we've been using so far in our sentences and we're gonna keep using today. Jack, grandma, picked, put, some, the, for, his, in, flowers, mom, vase, a, and. Ew, let's go ahead and keep reading. Grandma and Jack admired the vase of flowers on the windowsill. I have a great idea, Grandma said. Why don't we make a bouquet for you to bring home to your mom, she asked. What did Jack and Grandma do? Well, if they needed if they needed a new bouquet to take to mom, they probably had to go pick some more flowers, right? Oh my goodness, what if I said Jack and Grandma picked some flowers for his mom? Perfect. Okay, I'm going to add that sentence to the same page that I've been working on all week long. And I'm going to start my sentence. Jack and Grandma picked some, and that went a little past the line, but it's okay. Picked some flowers for his mom. Okay, now I need to separate. The first thing I'm going to do is I need to separate my subject and my predicate, my who or what, who or what is my sentence all about, from my predicate, my doing, telling part. Hmm. Oh, I think it's all about, wait a second, it's all about Jack, but it's also all about, it's also all about grandma. Oh my goodness. So does this sentence have two subjects? It does. Okay, so I'm gonna put my slash mark after grandma because my subjects are Jack and grandma. That is who my sentence is all about. It's about both Jack and grandma. They're both my subject. Okay, that was a little tricky, but I just kind of had to think through it for a second. Now, my predicate then is what are they doing or what is the sentence telling me about Jack and Grandma? Well, they picked some flowers for his mom. So I'm going to underline that in green because that is my predicate. That's the action part of my sentence. It's what's going on. Um, I still need to find a capital at the beginning and punctuation at the end. I do have a capital J at the beginning and that's good because it's his name and it's the beginning of a sentence. And I do have this punctuation here at the end. If you need to pause the video to finish copying this sentence, go right ahead. When you're done, make sure you add a picture to show what is happening in this sentence. When it's all done, take a picture of your work to put on Seesaw. Don't forget to click that green check mark when you're done.